from the bunker quarantine edition but we're almost out today we're going to talk about being a good musician as a dancer so full disclosure i did not really start singing till i was about 22 years old i mean that was only three years ago so i was a full-on bunhead classical ballet dancer for most of my life i did a little bit of children's choir it did not work out well so i really started from scratch when i decided i was leaving ballet and going into musical theater because i had the bug bite so here's a few things i've picked up along the way because i really started from scratch find a good teacher good voice teacher i did study piano as a kid so i had a little bit of musical training but i honestly even still today like i can sort of read music but i'm not i wouldn't call myself a sight reader there's all these expert musicians that i would not compare myself with however i can hold a tune uh, i can hold my harmonies on a show and i can sing solo so here's how i got there great teachers absolutely great teachers. If you know that you're deficient in some area of your training, go seek those people out. It's worth it. It's an investment in yourself. Yes, I still have to take all my dance classes and I have to take my acting classes, but if I but because my singing needed the most work, that is where I put the most resources. The other things I could sort of do on my own in college, I had great acting training. It was a very serious acting program. And we also, on top of that, as the musical theater track, we had extra vocal classes, private lessons, and those were super helpful. I can't even tell you how much. Amazing teachers that took me from like, I know one song to a book full of music that was appropriate for me to perform and was within my range. So a great teacher is worth their weight in gold. Somebody who boosts your confidence. And also if something is hurting and they're not addressing that, they're not right for you. Singing because of just the nature of that anatomy shouldn't hurt. You shouldn't be blowing yourself out. That, that ain't it. So now I have a voice teacher, Mike Ruffles, who's amazing and who, I, he's like a wizard doctor. And I've grown so much just in the last couple of years that I've had him. And I haven't even been able to go every week. And when I'm on a show, I'm away and I can't necessarily make a lesson. We've been doing Zoom lessons and it's been really interesting, really cool. And I am not the same singer that I was three years ago when I was 22. So yeah, just find yourself a great teacher. That, that's gold. So good luck.